Georgia Pathways to Coverage launched July 1st, 2023 to provide low-income residents access to health care. It's the only plan in the country that requires recipients to show they've either worked, volunteered, or taken classes for 80 hours each month. The last numbers that I saw reported as of July 2024 was that about 4,300 people were enrolled in Pathways. Early projections were that number in the first year was supposed to be 25,000. What do you attribute to a pretty drastic gap, especially to the people who say a work requirement, we are first, just doesn't work? You know, we had to go to a court in the first place to get part of this program. Uh, started. We've had to deal with redetermination, which, uh, you know, many of you have criticized us over, uh, you know, over the last couple of years, even though it was mandated by the federal government that we do that. Uh, so we're in a really good place now. Governor Kim says the goal of Pathways is to support residents on their journeys to financial independence and to eventually transition them to private coverage. To qualify, you must be a Georgia resident between the ages of 19 to 64 and have a household income of up to 100% of the federal poverty level. That's about $15,000 a year for one person and $25,820 per year for a family of three. On the other side, there's one key reason critics say this program won't work because of the job requirement. They say it doesn't take into account people who don't have a traditional job or those who can't work because they're taking care of loved ones or what about the people who don't even have a computer to upload their information at all? We also know that the qualifying activity requirement is holding people back from life-saving coverage. Leah Chan is the director of health justice for the Georgia Budget and Policy Institute. She believes hundreds of thousands more Georgians could be covered if the state would agree to full Medicaid expansion. But Georgia is one of 10 states that opted not to expand. If we were to fully close the coverage gap, we would get a 90 percent federal match on health care costs for all of those newly eligible enrollees. And then we would also get that over one billion dollar signing bonus for the first two years. And we're going to continue working on pathways. Governor Kemp has long rejected full Medicaid expansion, arguing it would cost Georgia too much in the long run. When pressed about how the state plans to get more people enrolled through Pathways. It doesn't feel like a luxury anymore um, because this has helped my son and I, my family. The Department of Community Health says as of August 1st, it launched a $10.7 million marketing campaign. And it offers us the. To get the word out about the program. The opportunity um, to maintain health coverage.